So you want to redirect equity scheduling visitors to a new external thank you page after they book their sessions. Well, I wrote a little uh, blog post about it and now I've created a kind of a plugin which is custom code you can copy paste plus instructions for how to do it. Now this is gonna include all the advanced features like multiple different appointment types, multiple thank you pages, a kind of default fallback destination for the rest of them. But because I'm kind of a user experience and graphic design perfectionist, now I'm going to be showing you the animation, the transition and how to make that perfect and just kind of showcase what I'm working on. So just uh, as a starting point, I'm going to show you how does the redirect work without any animation transition or a loading spinner. So now I'm going to complete the appointment. So yeah, that's okay. Uh, in this demo, I added just a little de delay of maybe 0 0.2 seconds, just so you can see what's what hap what ha what is happening. So we are actually shown this screen for I don't know 0. Point, maybe 0 0.2 seconds or something before we are forward forwarded uh, redirected to the external thank you page. So. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I mean, it works. I don't think anyone's going to be complaining, but we can definitely make it better. So the next demo is uh, kind of the second version that I have. So in this, we will have a little bit of a loading spinner. And yeah. Oops. Now that's better because there is a loading spinner and when it's so quick, uh, the flash is so quick off the page, you still subconsciously see that, hey, something is loaded. You know, I can just wait and see what happens. And then when you're redirected, it makes sense. Now the problem with the, this design is, or was, that when you go back to this page, let's say you wanna cancel or reschedule using the email link, there is still going to be this endless loading spinner without nothing happening. So this in this event is going to be super weird, which is the reason that I kind of decided to scrap this design and try to figure out something better. So I now spent, uh, I don't know, maybe six hours trying to figure out how to solve this. There are a lot of technical restrictions. We can't really <laughs> have much here. Uh, any JavaScript or CSS in this box. But take a look at this. Uh, this is the new latest version that I worked on. And I think it's pretty damn good. Now, the only thing is that this is going to require the most expensive equity powerhouse plan, which has the custom CSS. But if you're doing redirects, it, it actually might be worth it because take a look at this. Uh, what we want to do is, first of all, we don't want this to happen when you go back to this page. So that's number one. And number two, we want this to be smoother. So we want uh, even on a smaller screen, we want to make sure that the loading spinner is always visible. So we want it in the center. And third, we actually don't want them to see this third view at all because it looks weird that it's there for like a quick flash and then goes away. So how about this? Oops, again, gotta go through the steps. So this is the final version, current version. Now that was pretty smooth. Let's go back and no loading spinners, nothing nothing here. Yes, so that is the current version of my code of the plugin. The plugin has all kinds of uh, advanced features. And if you need something even more advanced, you can just let me know. The most important thing is that it's an easy way for you to copy paste this beautiful, simple functionality and get as many 
redirections as you like for different appointment types. So definitely give the uh, plugin a try and I'll be up updating this blog post about the redirects anytime I figure out something new and cool or if you have some uh, you know problems or feature requests I will be adding them here. Thanks for your time.